Hello friends, today in this video we will be learning most awaited tutorial about how you can send an email using uh, AWS SES uh, APIs um, in your Superbase project. So basically what we are going to do is we are going to create a Superbase project and then in that project we will be going to create Superbase Edge function. And in that function, we will uh, trigger um, the AWS SES uh, API using the keys, which we generate from our AWS portal. Then that will send the email and then we will update the mail records. So it's very, very simple. We will create an edge function and that function will be triggered whenever there is an entry created in a database table called mail. And then once the entry is triggered, it will send the email by triggering the function. Okay, right. So let's uh, let's see how it's going to look. So in your Superbus project, I'm sure you have created your free Superbus project. Just go over there and then create a mail um, database table. You can add as many fields as you want, columns as you want. There's no limits here. It's just a triggering point here for your um, edge function okay so you create a database table called mail and then you can add subject content whom you're sending it to etc etc but for this tutorial i have just added subject and content um, just to keep it minimal okay so that's our super best table now let's go to see how we are going to create the uh, edge function right so this is my Superbase project and this is the source folder and then I've created a Superbase uh, function here. Now I will tell you how you can do that. So you, you simply create, first you have to install the Superbase on your um, development uh, environment and then you run npx Superbase function and new now you can name it at whatever you want i named it aws ses client aws ses email sorry um but you can say send mail or something like that so just for the demonstration purpose i'm going to create another one which will be add transaction okay enter so this command will create a function inside the superbase functions folder here and it will also add your vs code settings if you're using vs code and it will not add the i import map but i'll tell you how to add it later and then obviously i have created the similar function which is aws scs email here uh, the reason why it is showing uh, red on these um, imports is because um, the VS code has not been set up in a way that it could resolve these imports, but it is working fine and it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, good, good to go. Okay. So you have created a function and the function will automatically generate this minimalistic code for you, which is basically, uh, importing the serve from the dinner land and then potentially just console log that the function is there and then just uh, you know say hello to the name which you send through the body um, you can also alter it as uh, your uh, as you think it's fit for you okay so that's the function so let's get into this aws scs email then so the first thing you have to do is you have to create an import map. Now this import, this import map is you create this import underscore map dot JSON file inside your functions folder. You can also create it inside the Superbase folder and it will take it from there. But I would prefer, I prefer to put it in the functions because then I have all of these imports defined here which could be used easily into any of my functions inside the functions folder. So a couple of things which needs to be, uh, you know, looked at as is you have this Dinoland server, which is imported here, which we are going to use. Um, if you're using it with your React, you can use it with React. 
um, and then this AWS SES client. This is one of the most important bit and it was very difficult for me to find out this ESM link. So that's why I could not emphasize more that you need to import this from the import map. Okay, so very simple JSON file, just create a import underscore map.json, import all of this and then it will be ready for you. So that's your uh, function. Now let's go through each uh, section of this function so that you can understand it. I'm not going to type it uh, while, uh, you know, uh, creating it for you because I think it doesn't make any sense, but I can explain you each and every part. Now, uh, as you know that for each uh, project, we always define these uh, environment variable so you can you could define environment variable separately for each of your functions so i have defined mine i'm going to change all these keys so for each functions for each function you can define a separate env file here and then you can define the key id and secret id for your um, aws account now the important bit to remember here is your uh, region don't forget to add it here because that's one of the important thing you AWS API needs in terms of the SES client. Now, once that's done, what you have to do is you have to push these um, environment variable onto Superbase. And to in order to do that, what you have to do is you have to run this command, right? So this is npx Superbase secret set dash dash env dash file. And then the location of your uh, function, you know, your function name and then .env. If you do not run this command, then your environment variable will not be available for you uh, when you run, when your uh, edge function runs. So that's really important step. So do not forget that. So once you create the environment function, run the command and then it will set the um, environment variables on Superbase. One more thing to remember is once, once, when you run this command, it will ask you for your Superbase project reference. So you need to get that from your Superbase uh, project, which you can find easily here. I think this is uh, your project reference. So you can find it here and put it um, on your Superbase um, um, command okay so this is how you push the secrets now let's move to the next step which is creating a request to send it through the aws ses api so now we have this create send email command uh, object which takes a uh, to address and a from address uh, and then as you can see here it is using to address here and then it is using the HTML body as just testing. So let's say, let's change it. Let's change it to, well, why to change it? We are just testing, right? So let's keep it that way. The text file testing, and then the data is, this is the testing for Superbase. That's pretty much it. You can also define the reply to addresses, etc., And all the definitions for this is provided on the AWS portal. So you can get it from there. So that's it. And then, you have the serve function which you have imported from the serve uh, through the I, I import map here so you can just define it like let, let's say you want to send it to the email this and then you initiate the create send email command here you get the SMTP from from your environment variable and then you run the SES client and then send function through the send mail command um, options uh, remember we imported the SES client here and then we created a new SES client with the region and the key provided here and then we also imported the send email command uh, from SES client here that's done and then obviously we wrap it around the try and cache just to see if there is an error and then you know on the top level when we are serving with the serve it also combines it with the catching of the error so you can define it there and then at the end what you do is you need to respond back uh, that if it is gone okay or not 
just for a handy approach when you want to notify somebody that yes, the function has run properly and it's successful. Okay. Now, once that happens, once you have created your function and everything, you have to run another command, which is uh, you have to uh, deploy your function. So again, you do NPS superbase functions, deploy AWS SS email, project reference, and then your project reference here. And this will deploy your function on Superbase Edge functions. And when you look at it here, and click on the Edge function, you will see something like this. It is deployed. And then when you click on the function, you will see all these things. Now, one of the most important things which we need to consider here is the, once you have deployed your, deployed your uh, edge function, you need to make sure that it triggers when there is an entry made to the database, right? So when somebody created an entry in the mail database table, that should triggers the function. How do you do that? Well, it's easy. You go to webhooks, right? You create a new webhook. You name it AWS. Yes, yes, email, I'm going to name it too. Then you have to select a table. So here, there are all the tables for your um, project. Then you can search for mail. There you go. Now you can select which event you want to trigger the edge function for. Let's say insert, update, delete, whatever. So I would just select um, insert because that's the trigger point for me to send an email. Then I select the superbase edge function and then the method would be post and then the select which uh, edge function. So whatever number of edge functions you have, it will be um, listed here. And then you have to provide the header. So I'll provide content type, application JSON. Um, and then you have to also add authorization here. Now you can find that from your um, um, from your uh, function um, comments here, which Superbase automatically creates. Superbase CLI automatically creates. So you copy this authorization from here, and then you copy the beer and then the beer token. You put this here, space, and then the beer token here, and then you create the webhook. That's it. That's pretty much it. Once you create it, it will create a webhook for, for your system like this. And you can always edit that hook if you want. As you can see, I have created it here. You can edit it. And then this will trigger every time when there is an entry to the mail table. So let's look at it in live environment okay so let me show you what's happening here so whenever somebody adds and record in the email uh, mail table in Superbase, it triggers the function which uh, we have seen how it does that that trigger that function connects with aws SES using your apis send the email and then obviously this step we haven't finished yet update the Superbase uh, mail table but Ultimately, it sends the email and then we will do it in the next video. Okay, so let's go to our um, table here. See it in action. Uh, insert, let's say test, test, save. Okay, go to the edge functions, click on it, logs. And then we see that it has just ran and it's uh, done. So let's have a look if we receive the email. There you go. We have received the email just now. Zero minutes ago. Okay. So this is how you send email using AWS SES and Superbase uh, Edge functions. Um, I will be um, putting the link to this whole code for you in the description so if you want to download it and use it in your project feel free to do that and then i'll be doing some more 
videos to explain you how you can customize this functionality for more targeted or more niche uh, use cases. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.